So I want to encourage you with something that uh, God has been prophesying real quick. And Anthony, do you have it ready? Where's Anthony? I want you to come here for just a moment, please. And those of you that are watching. So how many of you know there's this big convoy that's happening in Canada? And it's pretty remarkable. You know, it reminds me of that song, you know, eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. We're going to do what they say can't be done. And, and, and I think, I forget, what is the count now? Do you have a microphone? What is the count now of, of how many trucks? Anybody know? Isn't it like? So they're, they're actually estimated 50,000 trucks, 50, trucks are part of this convoy. And how many of you watched Flashpoint last night? I thought that was a great show, by the way. I really felt the Spirit of God. But I'll tell you, you know, Lance Walnow said something really interesting, and, and it's so true that I think, you know, even Trudeau, the, I don't even want to call him the leader of Canada, the guy that thinks he leads Canada, uh, said that it's a small minority. represents, And I'm like, dude, you are in trouble and you know it. <laughs> okay? So, you know, it's, it's amazing how none of the news wants to report it either, you know. But it's happening, and they can't stop it. And, and here's the thing. So this is, this is carrying on like wildfire. Well, God prophesied about this in 2017 and 2018. And at the time, again, this is why prophets are not required to interpret their prophecies. And, and they do it out of courtesy if they do. But the cool thing is, is it's, it's like this. When a prophecy comes to pass... Then people go, oh, okay, so that's what it means. Sometimes the prophet doesn't even know what it means or how it's going to happen. So I want to share this with you, and I want to encourage you with what God said in 2017. If they could put up the first, the first um, panel. Do they have the panels ready? Can they show those also at home? And then I'm going to talk to you tonight about the fresh anointing. I can't even read that. So <laughs> do you have it? It's all written in Canadian. So <laughs> Can I, may I have my glasses, please? <laughs> you know, I'm just enjoying my day oot in a boot. Desiree, is that how they say it up in Canada, oot in a boot? <laughs> I love the Canadians. I, you know, they're some of my faithful partners of Brenda and I. By the way, she would be here tonight, but she's on a book deadline. And uh, she's writing decrees that your children can decree. Isn't that amazing? So I love you, honey. I don't know if you're watching, but if you are, I think you're a fox. All right, so like in a good-looking fox, not like a sly, you know. So anyway, so look at what God says. This is really interesting. This is from February 26 of 2017. So this is what I say to you, Canada. I shall reform you. Stop right there. Most people are looking for revival. They're looking for revival to fill the churches, and yet God's going, you know, I'm doing something besides revival. It's not just about your church meetings. I'm doing reformation. I'm doing... You know, when God reforms, he takes something and he just begins to break it down. You know, that's why Jeremiah, the prophet, was set over the nations to do what? Overthrow, pull down, tear down, destroy, and then build and plant. Notice it was four to two. Sometimes it takes more time for God to deal with the corruption, overthrow it, and then bring the building and planting. But that's all part of reform. All right, let's look at this. So this is what I say to you, Canada. I shall reform you, and I shall cause a fire to begin to burn among the youth. And even among the old who remember, O Canada of old, and they shall arise, and there shall be a what? A movement that shall sweep. Watch this. From British Columbia, Anthony's going to talk about this in a moment, all the way to Quebec. Okay, Anthony, why is that important? Tell us real quick, and then we're going to look at the prophecy again. It's important because if you guys don't mind skipping to that slide of the map, could you do that real quick? Sorry, I'm going out of order. You good? Okay. So if you'll look, British Columbia, where the convoy was happening, is way on the eastern side of Canada. So that's where it started? That's where it started. That's where they were wow. gathering. Wow. So now if you look all the way over where they're going to be ending, where they're going to be meeting in mind. Ottawa. Wow. It's on the... Western, sorry, well, wait, sorry, backwards. We're on the, they started on the western side of Canada. They're moving across to the east. Now, if you'll notice where Ottawa is, look at the border where it's at, Quebec, Canada. So the Lord prophesied this back in 2017. 
going from British Columbia all the way to Quebec in Canada. Wow, so Desiree, does that sound right to you? Okay, she's from Canada. All right, so watch this. God says there's a movement. Now, what's even more amazing is how many of you have ever said something prophetically and others are like, you just read my mail, you just said something to you, you just said it because you felt it. On Flashpoint last night, they showed a clip from November when I said, I hear a convoy. You remember that? And then all of a sudden it starts happening. I didn't see anything, I just felt it and I felt like something was coming and I, and I, and I was able to speak that out. But even here, a movement, who would have known that God prophesies a movement and yet it's a convoy. That shall sweep from British Columbia to Quebec and what has taken place in the United States, whether you agree or not, is my doing. And it shall be my doing in Canada. You know what God is saying? All this that everybody's all upset about. God's like, I let all this happen. I'm, I'm messing with it. I'm upsetting it. And I'm bringing it to the top. Now let's show the next one. This was 2018. And there shall be a continuation, says the Spirit of God, of a dissatisfaction among the people. Yes, you Canada. That shall lead to a righteous rebellion. Yeah, I'll say but notice what comes after it. That will lead to righteous rebellion of votes. Something's going to shift then politically. That shall lead to a righteous ruler who shall stand before you, Canada, and shall speak by my spirit. This is my promise, says the Spirit of the Lord. So I think we need to just be encouraged that even though there's some crazy folk in office, God's the one that sets kings up and, and takes them down, and that's what he's doing. And so we have a lot of prophecies that we've been reviewing. In fact, we're going back and looking at uh, something happened with Wisconsin recently with their electoral, and God prophesied about that. He talked about protests that would be a sign in the nation, talked about pay attention to the United Kingdom. They just absolutely threw out their whole mask mandates, vaccinations. And it's amazing that God called out Canada. Then you, you brought up a prophecy from 2020 that the Lord talked about a frame. And what was on the four points, if you don't mind, come over here, four, the four points of the frame, what was that? Uh, so the prophecy was actually from December 31st, 2020. So the New Year's Eve before this yeah. past New Year's. And the Spirit of the Lord spoke through Pastor Hank and referenced a frame. And in each corner were four different countries. If you've been paying attention to the news and the headlines, there have been a few specific countries that have been talking about rumors of war. And they were Iran, Ukraine, China, and Russia, and how they were all colluding to basically bring socialism and communism to America. And this was prophesied back in 2020, and you see it already happening, the sound of war. But the, the really cool thing that I love about this ministry and what, how the Lord is speaking through Pastor Hank is they're not, it's not just speaking of what's about to take place in gloom and doom, but of the redemptive plan of God. Yeah. And so in that prophecy, it talks about how God is going to turn the tactics that the enemy has been using against the enemy. Wow. And it was going to be, bring about. And that's really evolution. encouraging. You know, Sunil Isaac, who obviously we have said, for those of you that maybe didn't know, he moved to be closer with his family. We love him. He's actually going to be coming back and drumming for us one of these Sundays soon. So we really love him. Sunil, if you're watching your family. But, you know, he said something to me. He said, you know, the prophecies that are going forth from this, this ministry, he said, are screaming. And I, and I said, what do you mean by that? He said, man, they're just, they're one after another. God just is like throwing it out there for people to see. And the reason he's doing this is because so many people have just kind of checked out on God and what he's saying and, and uh, believing more what's happening or the media. And so we just want to encourage you, but also let those of you that are watching, especially in Canada, I'm telling you, things are moving. And if you were here on Sunday in the 9 o'clock, you need to go back and listen to the 1130 service because there was a prophecy where God said, things are beginning to turn, and he gave a specific word about why it's beginning to turn. So uh, I want you to be encouraged. Amen. 